think mom might know something. What makes you say that? I don't know how she found out, but she know IG didn't do it. He was in DR when Zeke was killed. Now, this was an exclusive that was released for Ghost Season 3, Episode 5, which was a real moment between Kane and Lorenzo, and I think we all know the relationship between the two hasn't exactly been the best, which dates back all the way to Season 1. Aprende como ella bate el cobre, y cuando sea tu turno, tu sepas batir el cobre. ¿Me sientes? Many of their issues stem from Lorenzo lying to Kane about him learning from Monet, so when the time was right, he could take over. But the issue was, the intentions of Lorenzo were to never have Kane lead the TARD organization. He always wanted Drew to be the leader, but it's a bit of a tricky one. I really don't think Kane or Drew are ready to be leaders, not yet anyway. Decisions are being made by both which only benefit themselves, and if we look at more recent times, Drew just seems to be focused more on men, and Kane staying at the motel room in an unknown territory, counting cash, almost cost him his life, and also Lorenzo's. If it wasn't for Lorenzo pushing Kane out the way, and making sure Drew was there as backup, then he would have found himself in a casket before his father, and it definitely put things into perspective for Kane. Not only did he make a huge mistake that could have cost him and Lorenzo's life, but two, Lorenzo is and always has been family first. Fucking instincts are to always lead and protect. Everybody knows that, except you. Kane spouts about being family first, and at times, he definitely is. You know, we really can't take that away from him. He took care of Diana earlier on in the season, but the reality is, he used the powdered sugar move in Season 2 to position himself between the Tahadas and Mecha, and in Season 3, he used the Zeke secret for his own selfish gain, to lead the Tahada organization. And this was at a time when he knows Monet's been grieving over Zeke, and that's another talking point from this exclusive. I don't know how she found out, but she know IG didn't do it. He was in DR when Zeke was killed. IG, who was the go-up Lorenzo used to take the fall for Zeke, wasn't in town the night of Zeke's death, and that's something he actually tried to tell Monet before she fired seven rounds into his chest. So maybe this is the info that Tariq has for Monet, because we all know who she's going to turn to after finding out there was an 89% match for Lorenzo's fingerprints at the scene of the crime. She's going to turn to Tariq St. Patrick, the only one she can trust. Tariq will come back to her with the information that IG didn't kill Zeke, and his source doesn't get any reliable, and so I can only assume he's going to tell her that he wasn't in town the night of Zeke's death. And so Zeke's killer still remains free, so she'll definitely be fearing the worst. Could Lorenzo have actually pulled the trigger on her son? Your mother never shows her hand, Kane. You of all people should know that. Monet never shows her hand, and he's definitely right about that. Think about the moves that we've seen Monet put into motion without telling everybody the full plan. For example, making Kane believe that he had to kill his father at the end of Season 2, and in Season 3, killing Detective Whitman. She told Diana the plan was to get him arrested, but little did she know, she was going to be an accessory to murder. So that's another example of her not showing her hand. But with the Lorenzo situation, this is where I expect Monet to start piecing the puzzle together. IG wasn't in town the night of Zeke's death, and if he didn't do it, how did he have Zeke's championship ring? There's also the evidence of Lorenzo's fingerprints, and on top of this, Kane and Lorenzo have definitely been acting weird. During the family meeting, Monet turned to Lorenzo and asked him how's the business, but Kane was the one who answered, and Lorenzo followed Kane as if he was on a leash. So I'm fully expecting Monet to piece the puzzle together, but even if she doesn't, will Lorenzo come clean? You ever think about just telling her? I mean, this whole thing was an accident, right? Something Kane questioned in this exclusive was has Lorenzo thought about just telling Monet, because after all, it was an accident, and I do have to agree with Kane. Zeke's death was definitely tragic, but it was an accident, and it is better coming from Lorenzo before she finds out from someone else, and she is closing in. So could we actually see Lorenzo coming clean? Which also goes back to the scene which I expect to see in episode 5, Monet telling Lorenzo to get out of New York, and I am kind of torn about how Monet will react. We all know she's going to flip a switch, but at the end of the day, it was an accident, and will she really want to kill the father to three of her kids? I'm not so sure. This is why I'm split on whether Monet will actually be the one to kill Lorenzo. It's the fact that he's still the father to three of her kids, and I don't think she'll want to take that away from them. So maybe he does what Monet says and tries to leave New York, but doesn't make it. And the question is, who's holding this bloody knife? Something else I do think we need to discuss is the impact of Lorenzo's death, and we can look at this in a number of ways. How we can cause a power struggle between the Tahadas, or how Diana and probably will turn and blame Monet. But for the sake of this exclusive, let's talk about the impact on Kane. Now, we've already set the foundation of how their relationship hasn't exactly been great, but this death will definitely hit Kane hard. The fact that him and his pops are finally on good terms, having a good time, having a few drinks. When and if Lorenzo is killed, Kane is going to be so devastated. We also can't forget, in the official trailer, we saw Kane wearing Lorenzo's chain that he got him in Season 2. 
and it's only just starting to dawn on Kane. All Lorenzo's tried to do was the best for his family. His instincts are to always lead and protect. That's who Lorenzo Tohada is. He's all his family first. So the fact that we're now seeing Lorenzo and Kane build this bonding relationship, it really is going to be a devastating loss for Kane, as well as Diana, who's another topic entirely. But no doubt, she's going to be someone who throws the blame in Monet's direction based on what we've seen and heard in the official trailer. So that's a breakdown of the exclusive clip between Kane and Lorenzo, an episode where I do believe Lorenzo's had his final drink, and also how his death will have a huge impact not just on Kane, but everybody else, including Diana. But drop all your thoughts down below and let me know your perspectives from this conversation between Lorenzo and Kane. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.